Peekaboo. <laughs> it was me. A researcher from Texas Tech University has a pretty crazy idea about how life originated on Earth. And by crazy, I mean pretty logical and in the context. So logical that he'll be sharing his idea at the 125th anniversary of the annual meeting of the Geological Society of America. That's right, it's been 125 years. At the first meeting they were like, this is a rock! He thinks it was meteorites that rained down life upon our treacherous, totally not cool at the time planet. Sankar Chatterjee, pronunciation our own, and probably wrong, is a horn professor of geosciences and curator of paleontology at the Museum of Old TTU. And he believes that life began way down deep in the craters created by the crying heavens. He believes that this unlocks the secrets to the origin of life. This is because previously it was believed that there was some kind of condition that allowed for the building blocks of life to do their thing, but there has not been a viable setting in which that could have happened. However, according to Chatterjee, enunciation totally made up. Honestly has to be wrong. These conditions would have all collided deep in the craters from the meteorites. He stated, this is bigger than finding any dinosaur. This this is what we've all searched for. The holy grail of science. A correction, the holy grail of science would be the holy grail. That thing would be quite baffling. The holy grail of science is the uh, uh, holy, holy grail. grail. Now the new idea here isn't that life could have ultimately come from elsewhere. That theory's been around for decades, but this theory postulates that the ingredients for life traveled on the meteorites and the bowls created by the meteorites themselves allowed for them to heat up and pop and spark and mate and talk to each other and decide to spring forth life. Chatterjee and again, it's like, who really knows? Also stated, when the Earth formed some 4.5 billion years ago, it was a sterile planet, inhospitable to living organisms. It was a seeding cauldron of erupting volcanoes, raining meteors, and hot, noxious gases. One billion years later, it was a placid, watery planet teeming with microbial life, the ancestors to all living things. And he believes that the whole process of life occurred in four stages of increasing complexity. It started cosmic, geological, chemical, and biological. First come the meteorites. Then come the craters. Then, then come, come all the tiny the people little life society. Forms. Debating what happened. On our Earth. So guys, while the scientists are busy trying to figure out how life began, why don't we postulate for a little while on how it's all going to end? My money's on a plague. Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Meteorite. Full circle. After you're done with that, please click somewhere on this annotation. Go watch some of our other content spread across a bunch of channels. My name is Joe Beretta. My name is Elliot Morgan. Elliot has a poster. You should pick it up. It's new. Look at it. He's charismatic. Cool. The movie poster. It's fun. A lot yeah. of detail. It's mm -hmm. cool. It's fun. Mm -hmm. It's like a rights. movie, but it's actually yep. YouTube. But it's a movie. I mean, it's weird. It's crazy. All right. My name is hey, Joe Beretta. I'm Elliot Morgan. I love you guys. Bye. -bye. Bye.